Hey, what's up guys? It's Zona Primary Zona. I'm here with a quick guide for Cube World. It's how to find and tame a spitter. A uh, spitter is a ranged healing pet, one of a kind, and it's very, very awesome. It's amazing for all the melee classes, and I highly recommend it if you get the chance to find it. And of course, you're going to need the pet food water ice. Water ice is a very rare item drop, and you can find them from alpacas, ancient guardians, bats, spiders, camels, cows, flies, goblins, insect guards, lemon beetles, moles, wolves, and undead, and also terriers apparently, because in the clip I'm about to show you, I killed a terrier and I found it. So this wasn't not this was not on any of the wikis that I've seen, so I got I guess I just got very lucky and very fortunate to find a water ice so quickly. And finally, you will be needing the seed 7661989, provided by the Great Guardian on the Cube World forums. So thank you, bro, for finding this awesome seed and this very awesome location to find spitters. Um, of course, this will take a couple of attempts. You need to spawn in the lands of Likuden, 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 mainly because uh, finding the lake of the Sandara Lake. Sandara Lake is very difficult if you don't spawn in this specific town. Uh, apparently you don't always spawn in the places you should. Uh, I spawned a numerous number of times in a place called Gardara Town or Valley, whatever it's called. So of course, in his instructions, you have to go from the town west to northwest, apparently. So um, I didn't understand that, so it took me um, literally three and a half hours to find this area because I didn't spawn in the right area. So that was my mistake, but after uh, spawning, uh, trying again and spawning here uh, in the lands of Lake Likuden, Likuden, I finally managed to find the lake and there is an abundance of spitters that are plus one. So if you are low leveled, uh, be very careful. But of course, if you have your pet food ready and you go to the said pet like the spitter, uh, he won't aggro you as crazy. So as you see here, I finally obtained my spitter, which is bad eyes. And um, again, like I mentioned before, spitters are the best pet for melee classes, uh, mainly because they're ranged and they also heal. They are a mini version of water mages and they're actually quite, quite powerful. Um, of course, my level, my spitter is only level 4, so he doesn't do that much damage, but I'll show you a quick action. Of course, you have to stand in the blue circular area to actually be healed. Um, but other than that, it's absolutely amazing. And again, this pet is only good for melee classes because you have to be standing inside the blue circle to actually be healed. Uh, thus, you know, reducing the need to actually use potions or heal at all uh, because he actually heals you quite quickly. And if he uses his, uh, his special, the triple water spitting skill, you heal so quickly, it's outrageous. And of course, if you level up more and more, the, I'm assuming the healing skill will be improved as well so yeah this is a, a very quick guide um, I hope you guys did enjoy it just because it's plus one doesn't mean the spitter is gonna be better than other spitters it's automatically gonna adjust to your level so if you find a plus two plus three spitter it's not there's no difference like as you saw there I'm level four so as soon as I tamed the spitter it was level four and then I also leveled up to level five which is pretty badass in the video and the spitter is absolutely adorable and I do recommend it to every melee class, especially guardians because guardians are tanks and tanks need HP. You don't need a turtle pet. Turtle pets are really good for range classes and here's a quick clip of how it moves and how adorable this little demon looks. It's pink, it's adorable and I love you. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, concerns, uh, please do tell me in the comments below. Uh, again, you have to find the lands of Lykuden and then you gotta find Sandara Lake. It's, it is in the seed. You just gotta pass this huge, huge obstacle, which is running a crab ton. You have to pass a castle, and you have to pass. I believe that's it. You just need to find a castle, and as soon as you hit the castle, you just go straight northwest, and then you'll find this enormous lake. So it's really hard to miss from there. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, concerns, please do tell me in the comments below. I will try to help as much as I can. And if you guys have any more free time, please do check out my series, Attack on Cube World. I'm going to be playing as this character with my new spitter pet, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So please do check out my new series of Cube World, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. So now, Primers, and peace. Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed my little clip of how to find and how to tame 
a spitter. Um, this is this after clip is actually just for the people who are skeptical and who don't believe that this actually works or the seed is real or blah blah blah. Because I was reading on the forums earlier and the people are complaining how the seed actually doesn't work. So I completely made a new world, new seed, and I just started running uh, west literally just west a little bit to the north because that's the directions uh from the previous map that's how i found my previous or this is how i found my spitter and so i go on this prolonged journey and of course i fast forward it because it was like 12 minutes so it's like i shortened it to like four whatever but yeah it's um this actually does work uh i actually tried this twice this is my second time running through it and i actually recorded and um i noticed that um the first attempt, my very first attempt, the, the lake was quite far. And then after I tried the second time, it was very close. And then I was curious, so I tried it one more time and I recorded it. And this time it was a similar distance to the first attempt. So it's quite, it can vary, um, but you just need to find one main landmark, which is the Gadara Castle, Palace, Gadara Palace, I believe what it's called. Um, that is the main landmark you have to find. And as soon as you find that, you must search uh, either south or west, southwest, anywhere between there, um, and you'll find. Uh, just start exploring in one direction, and as soon as you start seeing this on the minimap, this huge blue lake, um, that's when you actually found the the Sundara Lake. Uh, so that's my only tips uh, I can give. Remember, you need to have water ice. Um, as I was running by, I saw a couple terriers, so and a couple mobs that also drop water ice so be sure to kill those on your way if you don't already have it um but yeah this it's a very uh it's not a very fast way to get it but this is one of the main and only ways to get it uh besides running to an ocean biome so this is also uh i guess this is the only fastest or the fastest way to find uh spitters without exploiting the game in some way but yeah this is uh probably this, and there's a floating rock, of course. This is the easiest way to find spitters. Um, of course, this is. Uh, I made sure this is this actually works, so I tried it multiple times. And yeah, um, I really do love my spitter. Uh, I'll be showing you guys in a later clip uh, me trying to fight. And there's the Gadara Palace. Just to make sure the name was right. Uh, I ran towards the palace. Uh, inside the castle, there's plus one mobs, uh, according because I was level five. In this video so if you're level six and above this is a great place to farm and of course any mob with plus and their name uh you'll have a, a better chance of finding rare loot more exp etc etc and yeah uh, i guess if you're strong enough and you have friends you can farm there definitely and i thought that tiny thing was a lake so i was like what but it wasn't so i kept on running and i kept on running and i like to uh, run in a line i mean um if you check on the map the grids I like to run in the middle so it, uh, you can explore twice as much. Uh, so it's it's not a secret or a cheat. It's just a way to explore faster. Um, as you see right there, I'm explore, um, running towards the middle. And again, you have to run either west or southwest or south. Uh, my, my lake was in the southwestern region. Uh, you could have just run straight west from the castle. But I would have highly recommend you find the castle first before you find the lake because I got lost a couple times so it's it's always great to find a landmark and if the reason why the video just clipped right there and why the map is unexplored I accidentally minimized or resized the screen so my game crashed uh, which is pretty stupid but it's I loaded in the exact same spot so it's okay and uh, my I pro apo I apologize for my uh, my commentary um, I'm really bad at scripted commentary. This was not my first, but it's like my fifth or sixth time actually doing like a scripted or like multiple attempts on the commentary or off-screen commentary. I always do live, so I'm really not used to off-screen commentary. So I do apologize if I'm really awkward. But yeah, I finally found the Sundara Lake and it's pretty badass. There's a bunch of spitters. Um, apparently, if you're here at level one, they're plus four. Yes, so it's, this is actually a very hard spot to, you know, be. <laughs> so don't come here at a lower level. Be sure to be here at least level 5. And I try to engage these three, uh, knowing that I'm going to die. But as you see, without the spitter, without my spitter, I would have died much earlier. And the idiot I am, 
I thought I was cool and I fought and I died. So I was like, oh hey, those two guys are fighting. Why didn't they help me? Because normally the NPCs help, but apparently one of the NPCs died. So even if they did help me, I would die. And I respawn right next to four crabs. Like straight up, I'm about to die. And then I'm running, there's spitters, there's crabs. There's so many mobs everywhere. So if you guys are trying to level up quickly or find gear, uh, this is also a great spot to be because like I said before anything with a plus means you get better gear better loot uh, And you know more money exp etc. So yeah, this is my um, my Surefire this actually works After tutorial video, whatever it's called, but yeah, <laughs> um, I hope you guys did enjoy uh, like I said this actually works um, you just run northwest or west from your town and then you should be your solid. Uh, this time, I just had to run directly west and I was there, but it's generally in that direction. And I found a terrier and I thought I'd find another water ice, so I tried killing it. Uh, but again, water ices is a very, very rare drop, so I just got really lucky that first time. So yeah, this is Zone Night Prime Race. I murder the wolf because I am a wolf. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Zone Night Prime Race, and peace.